Hi, um, here's a quick update. So sometimes things move really quickly. Um, and I just, like three hours ago, I made a video, well, quite a long one, about this um, this rule book over here that Sinai just released. Since then, uh, they've updated it, but they haven't updated the, the, um, the number on the, on the version, nor the um, date on the at the bottom of each page but uh some things have changed and because the way youtube's annotation system don't work on mobile i figured i'll just make an update video uh if you haven't watched the first one you might want to see me rambling on for 30 minutes about how some things are shit most things are still annoying but they've they've uh, some th the things they've changed from a quick look uh are these ones um this here Stadium effects are buff only. It used to be that uh, they're buffs only and they're equal, basically. Stadium effects... Oh, that's me getting more emails about the previous video. Um, so now it says, but you can play around them. E.g. the stadium upgrade referee rest area gives a free bribe is more helpful to the dwarf team than a death roller with standard human team, which was the example I gave in my previous video. So it's at least good that they've acknowledged that they're not equal. Um, I talked to the uh, Blood Bowl game Twitter account, and they're apparently discussing adding team value to to the upgrades. They currently don't, which is strange because everything else uh, has a team value cost. Uh, and they've also added this bit down here. Uh, the hunter give you enough blah blah blah. Journeymen are taken into account in team value for the matchmaking and inducements. This sentence wasn't here before. Which, okay, um, who knew? Um, so that means, I don't know what that means, but it means that this, uh, the thing I claimed was a bug before, is still weird that it's done the wrong way around, but at least it's not, according to their own rules, a bug anymore. Because apparently journeymen are taken into account. Um, and I think... Uh, and the last one is, okay, so <laughs> this bit here on inducements has also been changed. It used to say that home, who had home and who had guest field advantage. And apparently in ladder, which is what most of us play, play it's random matchmaking. I mean, it should be this way regardless. The fact that it's only in ladder is also strange because it's super important in freaking tournament play as well. But okay, uh... <laughs> in ladder the team with the highest team value chooses its inducements first uh that's how it's supposed to be so that's good the previous rules i read claimed that it was always whoever had the home field advantage which can be the underdog um and i think let me just quickly scroll through this uh I'm I'm like I'm sure that I'm sure that these are all the same because there weren't any these these are all just most of them I don't like agree with. Um okay. Um Okay. Um uh, there might be more changes that I am not aware of, but those were the kind of the main ones I went off on in my first video and now they've changed the text, so who knows? I feel like it's kind of, if I do a long commentary video, it's kind of my responsibility to actually point out when they change things, especially if they do it quickly. Um, you can still uh, comment on the um, <laughs> on on the rule set if you want. I suggest doing it on a Cyanide's forum uh, or on Twitter to them, uh, because hopefully it seems that way, uh, that they want comments and suggestions. So let's give them that. Uh, <laughs> bye bye. Bye.